Hi friends, uh, hope you are all okay. So right now I am just uh, increase my journey of uh, digital electronics through this video. And in the previous video, I have uh, taught about the logic gates and its operation. And now we will start about an algebra called Boolean algebra, uh, which are the basic uh, mathematical operation operating tools of this type of logic gates. Okay, so the Boolean algebra uh, invented by George Boole in 1854. It, this was invented to analyze and express the operation of logic gate circuits and the algebra this is an algebraic structure defined by a set of binary numbers 0 and 1 okay this is also a binary operation okay so i have uh, taught about in the previous uh, lectures that uh, there are three types of uh, algebraic system there one one was uh, binary system number system another was of octal number and the hexadecimals respectively okay so this one also be covered through the binary of a binary number system and it will uh, be a set of zero and one two numbers and it it is operated through two types of operations one is plus addition and another is dot product or multiplication okay so Next, uh, we will discuss about the terms will be used in this Boolean algebra format. So, uh, these are the terms will be used throughout the Boolean algebra. Uh, first one is uh, the variable. Variable which is a symbol used to represent a logical quantity. So, we will uh, use something like A or B uh, or C, this type of alphabets. Uh, to as a symbol to be used as to represent a logical quantity okay and uh, another uh, term is uh, another term is a complement complement is the inverse of the variable and is indicated by a bar over a variable if a is a variable then its uh, complement will be a bar okay so a bar will be the complement of a Similarly, for B, it will be B bar, okay? For C, that will be C bar and so on. And the literal, literals is also known as a variable or the complement of variable, okay? So, A bar, B bar, C bar or A, B, C all will be denoted as, all will be called as literals. So, next we will proceed to the operation of Boolean algebra, okay? So now we will uh, go through about the Boolean addition. Okay. So Boolean addition is nothing but an OR operation. Okay. OR get has done the additional part. So if two variables we call we can say these are literals A and B, then if we operate an addition, it will gives us A plus B. For three variables a, b, c will give a plus b plus c. Okay. For four variables, it will give us a plus b plus c plus d. Okay. And also for complements also. a plus b bar, a bar plus b, a plus c bar. Okay. This type of operations are also in or operation or boolean addition operation okay so this uh, this additions have uh, two uh, properties one is if some of the variable some of the variable or literals or any one is one then some will be one let's see a is equals to 1 b is equal to 0 then 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 if both equal to 1 then that will be a plus 1 plus 1 equal to 1 okay so sum of the literal or any one of the literal if there is one then their sum will be 1 
and if all the variable all the literals are zero all the lists are zero then sum will be zero zero plus zero 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 plus zero 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 okay so next we will proceed to the boolean multiplication part so the next is boolean multiplication which is nothing but the operation of and okay so if the literals is a b then it will be a b a dot b okay a or b bar or a bar b so it will give us a b bar it will give us a bar b okay so to get multiplication value one we have to have all the literals one okay and if we get multiply is zero then will be one or all must be zero only one component if one literal is zero then multiplication will be zero multiplied by zero 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 multiplied by one one sorry zero okay so if one or all the uh, all the literals are zero then the multiplication will be zero okay so next we will proceed to the three laws of the boolean algebra so there are three laws of the boolean algebra part first one is called the commutative law commutative law states as if there are two variables or literals a b and their addition is like a plus b then we will get the same if we add b plus a okay for addition part if for multiplication part if there is a multiplication part, then then will be the commutative law will be a dot b equal to b dot a if we multiply b through uh, by a then we will get the same as if we get uh, multiplied a by b okay so this is for multiplication another one is associative law associative law is for three variable states for addition if there is a plus b plus c it will be a plus b bracket plus c and for multiplication a b c a multiplied by whole b c into uh, this will equal to a b whole multiplied by c okay so these are the associative law and the last one is called the distributive law which states that a into b plus b b plus c will give us a b plus a c so the multipl multiplication will be distributive if there is a dot b plus c a once will multiply with b then after addition a will multiply to c okay and give us a b plus a c so this will give, uh, demonstrate the distributive law so these are the main three laws of the uh, boolean algebra and uh, based on based on this laws uh, based on this laws uh, we will go through the rules of the boolean algebra and then we will see some examples of uh, solution of boolean algebra okay so let's now discuss to the rules of the boolean algebra based on the, those three laws associative law commutative law and the distributive law so if we add a with zero it will gives us a if we add a plus one it will gives us one a dot product with zero will gives us zero a dot product with one will gives us a okay and a plus a's complement will give us one okay if a is multiplied by a then we will get a if multiplied by its complement then we will get zero 
द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द वेरिएबल इज द वेरिएबल द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द लिटरल इज अ लिटरल ओके ए प्लस ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए ए प्लस ए बार बी इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी अनदर वन इज ए प्लस बी टू ए प्लस सी विल गिव अस ए प्लस बी सी सो वी विल प्रूव दिस थ्री विथ यूजिंग दिस ओके so let's see so the first one is a plus ab is equals to a so for a plus ab will get a plus sorry a if we take common then we get a into 1 plus b ओके ए वन जा ए ए प्लस ए बी इज ए बी ओके सो वन प्लस बी इज वन सो ए विथ प्रोडक्ट वन विल गिव अस ए सो दिस वन इज प्रूफ्ड सो नेक्स्ट वील प्रोसीड टू दिस वन सो द नेक्स्ट वन इज दिस वन ओके सो वी हैव टू प्रूव ए प्लस ए बार बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस बी सो व्हाट शुड वी डू Let's we will write a into a bar b. So a will a is uh, only a. So a we can write at a dot one plus a bar b. Okay. To replace one, we can write a into one plus b. One plus b is equal to one plus a bar b. Okay. then we will get a plus ab plus a bar b okay it will give us a plus b into a plus a bar a plus a bar is 1 so a plus b okay this also has the proof next we will prove this one third variable we have a plus b into a plus c so if we multiply a is a a plus a c is a a c b is a a b or b a we can use uh, commutative law and we will get b c okay and we have to find a plus b c right so this b c will be, uh, come to the here so now if we take A as a common, then one plus c we will got a plus a b plus b c. It will give us a plus a b plus b c. So this one will again we will take a as a common and we will get a into one plus b plus b c. It will gives us a plus b c. Okay. So third one is also proof proven. now we will do as a final thing of this video to simplify this multiplication through the boolean algebra method so it will gives us ab is a ab ac ac ad bb is a b bc is a bc bd is a bd okay C B is a B C, C C is a C, C D is a C D. Okay. Then from A B and B, we will take B as a common and A plus one. Okay. And uh, this A C and C, we will get C to A plus one. and this bc plus bc will give bc and this bd plus cd okay so this finally add i b plus c plus bc plus bd plus cd
another AD is on left, right? AD. AD. So if we get B into BC, B and BC common, then it will give us B into 1 plus C plus C into C D 1 plus D and AD plus BD. Okay. This again give us B plus C plus AD plus BD. Again from BD and B we will get B 1 plus D C plus AD. So finally after simplification it will come B, C, B plus C plus AD. So this is the final simplification of this product. So this was the video about Boolean algebra. Next we will start from the, uh, its application about devices. So for then stay tuned. Thank you for watching.